So uh this uh on this rising I want to um talk about facing things that happened to us in our past that haunts us. It's kind of like that that silence of the lamb type thing like like we keep hearing it in our mind's eye, you know, and it affects us and affects us and stops us from being great in our present life. So time traveling could be therapeutic. What is time traveling? Well, in this segment, time traveling is going back to a situation that happened to us in our past that impedes us and stops us from progressing in our present. And so in this segment, I want us to go back to something that bothers us, something that happened to us. And and we don't have to go into the, the deeper issues in this first segment, right? But but go back to something that bothers you in me. Go back in your mind's eye to a situation. Like, for example, my family and I were, were homeless before. And I had an issue with my family Because in my young mind, I'm thinking that with the big family that we have, that we didn't have to be homeless for one day. And so while we was eventually taken out of the street and taken to our our grandparents' house, I still had an issue with them because of the embarrassment and abandonment that I felt from being homeless. And so when I came across this science of time traveling, what it says is go back to that situation and take yourself out of the situation and stand up on something, maybe a chair or stand up on something that you can look down on the situation. And so you're you're looking at the situation not from a participant, but from an observer. And observe everything that went on in that situation. What was it color? You know, was it in black and white? You know, was it loud? You know, was it hot? You know what I mean? And then you go back and you zero in on that particular situation that make you feel a certain type of way, you know? And and in some of our situations, the things that we've been through was things that was put on us from other people's issues. And sometimes it doesn't matter what age it is, but sometimes a lot of us were young when things happened to us. You know what I mean? And then some of us think it was our fault. Some of them think we deserved it. Some of us think that we deserved it, you know, and that does not necessarily have to be true, right? And so when I took myself out of the equation and looked at my situation as an observer, you know what I mean, Um, I was able to see the situation properly. And so when I think about it, although for 20 or 30 years I had an issue with my family why they didn't come get us out the streets, when I, when I had a chance to step back and look at it, then one of my grandfathers, he did, came and picked us up out of the streets. And, and he wasn't able himself to take care of us, so he took us to our other grandparents' house. 
And so my 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 thing was, well, I don't look here. Y'all come to get us now because y'all in the church and y'all don't want the church people to think what y'all think about us. You could have been and came and got us. And so I had an issue with them. And so when I looked at it, um, in the, in the, in the aspect of me not being in it, I'm like, how do I know that they knew? Because it's it's not like we was homeless for a month. It probably was three days, you know, or no longer than a week. So, so how do I know that they knew? You know what I mean? But all I knew when my grandfather took us to our grandparents' house, they, they took us in with open arms, you know? And so because I was able to do some time traveling some 30 years later to go back and look at that, and look at that incident, and so some of the things that I had issues with were some of the things that were solved. It just took me 30 years to figure it out, you know. And so sometimes the, the things that happen to us individually, you know, some of them might be as deep or deeper than homelessness. And some of it might not be that deep, you know. But, but, but we as a people, we, we suffer from things that, that happened to us when we were children. You know what I mean? And so once we go back and time travel and, and look at that thing from a different perspective, you know, we, we have to we have to um we have to hold people accountable for the things that they did to us. You know, not that we need to confront the people that did the things that they did to us, you know what I mean? But but we have to say, well, well, this this person was was calling me all these names. You know, maybe because she was called names, you know, maybe this person was calling me ugly, you know, maybe because she felt like she was ugly and I was so young. So she was putting her stuff on me or he was putting his stuff on me, you know, or or there are other issues that 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 happen in our lives. That's 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 pretty bad. You know, what I mean, but but we have we could go back into those situations, right? And we can time travel back into it and we can change that whole narrative. You know what I mean? And so if, if we went into a, 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 um, a time traveling experience where somebody screamed at us and hollered at us and made us shiver at the, the sound of their voice, you know, we have, the, we have the volume to turn that voice all the way down. We could turn that voice all the way down. We can make that voice soft. We can make that voice not scary to us. And we can turn that volume all the way down until we can barely hear what the person is saying. So we can close that part, that part out. You know, that part that frightened us. That may, we, we, can, we can turn that volume all the way down till we can't even hear it no more. Or or we could take that person that seemed so big in our life and, and had so much control in our lives and we could we could we could take the color out of it. You know what I mean? We could reduce that thing down to where that thing looked like a big old uh, uh Goliath, like a giant. We could shrink that thing down, you know, and shrink it down. And turn it down. And shrink it down. And we can say, you know what? <laughs> that wasn't on me. That was on you. That what you put on me, that what was on you. So I give that back to you. And you don't even have to confront the person. You could just go back into your situation and those situations that, 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 that won't let you love the way you're supposed to love. You know what I mean? Those situations that make you think, nah, it was my fault. Nah, it wasn't your fault. It was just people breathing onto you the spirit of, of, if a person, listen, if a person raised you or me that have not been raised themselves in love, in peace, how can they raise us properly? So it, it wasn't us. You know, it was the people that was raised that taught us that did things to us because things was did to them. 
And so we we forgive our own selves and we go back and we time travel and we face them things and we deal with it. And you know what? I'm not the person that, that I grew up thinking that I was. Because I have the opportunity to go back into to past incidences that's in my own mind that stops me from being great. And I have the ability to say to, to alter that thing. So, so that I may not be a prisoner to some things that happened to me in my past. It's called time traveling. And I just want to share that with us this morning on this rising, on this great day. It's a, such a great day to be living. It's such a great day to do some introspect. It's such a great day to clean out that garbage that's in our mind that, that stops us from being great, we can clean those things out and we can erase that data and we can give it a brand new narrative. So, hey, I might not be everything to everybody, but to you, I'm your brother. Live your best and your blessed life Peace.